Okay. Hello, this is the Vessel Baseline tennis bag that comes in a couple colors. And this is the backpack. I'm gonna do a quick review. This is totally unrehearsed. I just want you to see what this bag can do. So basically there's two main chambers. One's for your rackets and one's for other stuff. And then there's all these pockets on the exterior and they're all the same. So we're gonna open up the side with the rackets in them. It is, it's designed to hold two and it is uh, weather protected obviously to keep your string safe in extreme cold weather in your trunk or if you're traveling into extreme heat. Um, I noticed that once this bag breaks in, you can fit a third rack in here, but I recommend only doing two. It's really designed for two. So we're gonna go ahead and put these into the backpack. The backpack chamber has two spots here and it has a little divider in there. So you can zip this up here, throw on a little handy handle cover, and that's the backpack. So we'll shut this up. And as you can see, the, the bag will not open too far and then all your stuff falls out. So it's uh, there's a lot of really well thought out details in this bag. So on the side where your rackets go, you have a very long pocket. Inside the pocket has lots of spots. So you can put strings in one side, braces, wristbands in there. In my pencil case, I have accessories for, for rackets, pack of wipes. Shut this down. You have your final pocket on the, on the racket side, and that's for bars. It will fit a small water bottle, not the micro size, but the next one up. But I don't do that. I usually just carry a regular water bottle like a Nalgene. So that's the one side of the bag. Now we switch to the other side. And it's a very generous side of the bag for personal items. Now there are guys that carry tons of rackets, so I've really packed it up for today. So I have two 100s in here and a third 100. Most people won't be doing that. So what you see now is the shoe cavity which we'll get to in a minute. A bag for extra clothes, three cans of balls, a radio, and my Nalgene. I usually use these because there's no, the so one thing the bag doesn't have is a dedicated water bottle holder. And I think it's because they're all about the pleasing aesthetics of the bag and the overall design. They don't wanna mess it up with a cup holder. So I use these because you can really crank them down, you know they're not gonna leak. Just like the other side, there's tons of other pockets. So for, for me, I like to put my extra contacts in here so I know where they are immediately so I don't hold up my opponent if I need them. And then you have the same exact pocket as the other side. So I keep personal items, extra wrist brace, other braces. And then just like the other side, you have a small pocket, although this one is more for personal items. So it's a felt lined, really, really high end pocket for like your iPhone or whatever little glasses, keys, and a key protector. And then another section here where I keep my masks and then a another section there. So that's it. There are no other pockets on the ends or the tops except for the shoes. Now what's interesting about the shoes is that although my foot is only a seven and a half, which is like a 40, you could fit a very large shoe in here. So take a look how much room you have in there. And these are actually a three quarters. They're not, they're not a low and they're not a high, but they're actually a lot taller than the average tennis shoe. It has a little vented hole there for your shoe compartment. And that is the baseline. So the last thing I'm gonna show you with the baseline is just gonna take one second is I'm gonna wear it. So I'm about five, seven and a half, 140 pounds. And this is the bag on me. So as you can see, it can fit a lot, but it's not too big. And obviously it doesn't have all the crazy branding on it, which is what attracted me to the bag. The shoulder straps are completely removable. 
So if you want to be super elegant on your entrance into the court, you can go that route. Grabbing it out of the floor of your car, you can use this and then set it into your cars. Very well thought out bag. Real quick, the backpack. When this opens up, you can see the cavity for the shoes, which goes underneath. And then you have two stretchy pockets. Then you have the felt line kit bag here for your cell phone and eyeglasses. And then a key ring holder. And then a final smaller section here for eyeglasses. Front pocket has room for cell phone, wallet, and keys, as well as pen holders. And then a medium sized spot there for something else. This has two water bottle holders on either side, which stretch out and then they clip with a magnet. You can hear it. And a regular water bottle or even a, a medium sized water bottle will fit in there. I will throw this bag on as well because that's what people that buy bags want to see. And it does have a little clip up there in case you're traveling through the airport running with your rackets. No waist belt, but I don't think it's necessary. You're not really going to pack too much in this. So that's it. That is the baseline from Vessel and the, their backpack. I know that they come in black and gray, and then I think the baseline also comes in a couple of the three other colors, more funky colors. So thank you so much for watching the review, and have a great day.